Now sports with sports director Scott Lever. If you're going to the BMO this weekend for the Ice Hogs' first two home games, you'll notice some changes in the way things look at the arena with some of the upgrades. And you'll notice a change in the way things sound. Chris Toltzman's voice has boomed throughout the arena since the Ice Hogs' very first game going back to their beginnings in the UHL in 1999. That's how long he's been the public address announcer. Let's make some noise for the boy! But he's dropping the mic and walking away from that job to focus on a bigger job of overseeing pretty much everything that happens on game night as the Ice Hogs manager of event presentation and creative services. The night job is is managing the show that is put on um, around the game, you know, the intermissions and uh, media timeouts and pre and post game. He handled both that major responsibility and the announcing last season. It got to be a bit much. There were some times, especially during our bigger games, when there's a lot of moving parts to it, where uh, I was not able to really manage to the level that I wanted to and the level that we need to. The goal is to keep increasing the fan experience, increasing the fun. I need to make sure that I can focus on, on everything, focus on the big picture. So in a sense, I basically fired myself so that I can free myself up to do other things. Taking Tolsman's place at the public address announcer will be Jim Leo. He's done announcing work for the USHL Chicago Steel and for the Kane County Cougars minor league baseball team and for DePaul men's and women's basketball. He was handpicked by Toltzman. Jim is a great guy, great voice, and I'm really excited for him, and he's excited for, for this chance too. What I, what I like about Jim is he's a pro, um, he's a seasoned pro, and his voice sounds it. It might take fans a while to adjust to not hearing Toltzman's voice and his delivery, especially this one. Toltzman has always had a great connection with Hogs fans for one very simple reason. I think anybody who ever met me in person knew that I was a fan first and not an employee first, meaning that I was always fan centered. I always announced um, with a, a thought of how would a fan in the stands with a microphone, how would they do it? How would, how would they do this job? And I, I wonder if that had a lot to do with my success was I, I tried to be the fan's announcer. I think he nailed it there. Toltzman tells me there might be a couple times this season when he will be at the microphone as an emergency fill-in. But basically, he is done. He says it's for the long-term benefit of the team and the fans.